All right, so we found this crazy overgrown property that's going up for auction because the owners didn't pay their taxes, so the city's foreclosing on it. So I'm just gonna make sure nobody's home before we get it cleaned up. Oh, it's definitely empty in there. It is trashed and empty. I don't think anyone's living there, but we'll make sure with a neighbor first. I just had a question about that house, the one that the grass is all crazy and stuff. Oh, I don't know anything about it. Do you know how long it's been like that? Uh, probably about six months, maybe longer. They left it, I think, because she owed too much on taxes. So oh, wow. Yeah. So no one's living there, it's, it's vacant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been empty for a while. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. We're going to take you and get y'all fixed up, okay? I promise. Does he have a name? No. You want to name him? Okay. Let's name him SB. Uh -oh. <laughs> the weed eater may have kicked up and broken their front window in their car. I really thank you. Well, so I'm much. happy to help out. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Hey everyone, Spencer here with SB Mowing, and this lawn caught my eye when I was actually heading to go do another lawn. It must have been fate because I took a wrong turn and drove right by this one. So I hopped out my truck real quick and went and knocked on the door just to see if anyone lived there. But it seemed pretty vacant to me. So I decided to talk to a neighbor just to see what was up with the house. They did confirm that it was vacant and that it hasn't been mowed in so long. So I decided just to get it cleaned up for the neighborhood and boy was I in for a job. There was so much edging to do and I even found a few hidden sidewalks while I was at it. Also, there was so much trash in the backyard and just littered all over the back porch that I thought I would get that cleaned up too. There was over 300 gallons of trash that I picked up. And then there were also big items like tires and mattresses that I can't dispose of, so I just kind of piled them up in the backyard so that they're in one central location. So whenever someone decides to clean up this house, they can just take it all out. And cleaning up these vacant properties doesn't just make it look better for the neighbors, but it also really, really helps them out. I had a lady walk down just from a couple doors just to tell me thank you. She has a hard time getting around and she takes that sidewalk every Sunday and every Wednesday to get to church. And it's been so overgrown lately that she has to leave the sidewalk and walk out on the street to get around it. And when doing that, she's actually had a couple scary falls. So I'm so happy she came over to talk to me and just really glad that I was able to do this yard, even if it was just to benefit her. And this video is just completely packed of crazy things that are happening. I also found an injured cat on the lawn and ended up rescuing its life. Luckily I did find him because I could have ran him over with my mower, but I was able to get him to a cat rescue here in Corpus Christi. So be sure to stay till the very end of this video to see the entire cat rescue, the interaction with that lady, and the awesome before and after pictures. And if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button down below. Is this the best way to support this work that I do? And if you do want to support me a little bit further, go to sbmowing.com and check out our awesome new merch. Anyways, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. And I'll see you next Friday. SB Mowing, out.
Alright guys, so actually, I found this cat laying in the yard. Just in the grass, I was blowing stuff all over it, and it didn't move. I I didn't even see it, so when I was picking up some of the trash and some of the junk, um, I saw her just laying there, and uh, she was letting me pet her and everything. It wasn't moving, but uh, I think she's got a wound kind of underneath her leg. I'm not really sure what happened, but um, seems like she's kind of hurting, so I'm not really sure what to do, whether I should... Um, take her into the vet or take her to the uh yeah, I'm not really sure what to do guys All right, so yeah, she's limping pretty bad. Um, they've actually got a number I can call here in Corpus Christi that um, is for injured animals. So I'm gonna call the number and see what they have to say. All right, that line, she said they don't take cats. So I guess I'll try to call some shelters. We'll see. The Humane Society can't do anything, but they said there's a couple cat rescues in town. So we're gonna see if we can call them. Hello, and thank you for calling Edgar and Ivy's Cat Sanctuary. We are open to the public Monday through Saturday, 12 to six. Hey, um, I just had a quick question. I, uh, I'm, I'm out here mowing a, an abandoned lawn with some crazy tall grass, and I found a cat um, kind of buried in the grass, and I, I picked her up, and she's, it looks like she's got like a wound under her leg, and I, I was wondering if like, she's something that you guys can take on. Okay, um, let me talk to the director, and I'll call you right back. Okay, thank you. All right, so they said they're going to talk to their director, see if it's something they can do, and give me a call right back. So fingers crossed, hopefully they can help this cat. Hi, uh, this is Anissa, the director of Edgar and Ivy's. Hey. Um, can you tell me, um, is she able to get up? Yeah, she was walking. Um, her, her one leg, uh, she's, it's kind of limp. Uh, I, it's not, I don't think it's broken. It's like a wound underneath her armpit, but she was walking a little bit. She's just limping or like holding that one leg up. Okay. And is she friendly or feral? She's friendly. I was holding her and petting her and everything. Okay. Can you bring her in, uh, between 12 and six today? Yeah, I absolutely can. Try to, you know, put her in a box or something. Keep her, keep her as quiet as possible so that she doesn't go into shock. Okay, that sounds good. I'll uh, I'll probably I'll try to bring her in here in the next thirty minutes or, or an hour. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. All right, so Edgar and Ivy's cat rescue here in Corpus Christi said they're gonna check out the cat. I'm gonna bring it in real quick uh, and see if and see if they can get her all fixed up. All right, let's do it. All right, she probably doesn't like being moved too much, but this is for your own good. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Come here. It's okay. I know it hurts. Go ahead and lay down for me. All right, lay down. Lay down. Lay down, okay? Lay down. We're gonna take you and get y'all fixed up, okay? I promise. We're gonna get you to a better place, okay? Guys, I think she knows she's being helped, but I think she's a little bit scared of the truck, so I'm trying to drive slow and, you know, we'll get her there safely. Come here. She's all cozy and comfy in her box. You're safe, I promise. Hi. This is the cat. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Hi, baby. 
She's super sweet. I, I don't know if it's a she or he, but um, Come but. On in. Um, so she, she's gonna give you a tour so she can see what we do. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, it looked like it was in like her armpit. Yeah, yeah. Baby has definitely been out on the streets for quite a while. Her arm is swollen up. Oh my god. Did you see it? Oh, is that all swelling? It's huge. See oh, wow. Arm? Yeah. Hey, boy or girl, check the well, hold safely. <laughs> Not the boy. Okay. Little boy. This is just our adoption building, so this is all healthy cats. <laughs> this is a boy. Got a massive abscess um, under the right leg. So here they're giving him antibiotics to fight any infections of the abscess. They also gave him medicine to kill any maggots or worms. And then they gave him some food before introducing him to his cozy new bed while he heals. So probably what happened is because he's unneutered, he has to fight with the other cats. Yep. And uh, cat bites, uh, you know, they carry a lot of bacteria in their teeth and he's probably gotten into a fight with another male uh, or a dog or something and it has gotten infected. So the good news is it's not broken. It's just an abscess. That means that we'll fix him right up. He won't need the surgery or anything. Oh, good. He's in rough shape though. He's been on the streets. See that how his skin is so thick? Oh, yeah. Does he have a name? No. You want to name him? Let's name him SB. <laughs> oh, oh, SB. Okay. We, um, Adopted out 714 last year, and uh, we did intake on 800, um, 801, and uh, we pull cats off of the euthanasia list from all the surrounding animal controls. So, like, if kittens or cats are scheduled to be euthanized, we take them, uh, try to save you know the ones that are at the most risk of death. This will start to drain, and he'll be feeling a lot better and nobody leaves here without being sterilized. So we spay and neuter, um, we vaccinate, we microchip, and we remain lifetime guardians of our microchips. Okay, we're gonna go in here. You can run the bowls and nose. This is our medical area only. This is Karma right here. He was thrown out of a moving vehicle two years ago at four weeks old. Oh, wow. And broke almost every bone in his body. But I haven't been able to adopt him out because he's afraid of the outdoors. He can't stand the sound. She only has two legs that work. So somebody took her when she was six weeks old, held her, and they snapped both legs on one side. So they were going to euthanize her. We had the front leg amputated. The back leg she needs um, for support, so we had a metal rod put in there. Uh, we haven't adopted her out because too high of a risk. If she got outside, she'd be killed. So <laughs> these are kind of what are, she's like a lifetime resident because we can keep her safe. You know, we are trying to help the, the people that, it was not just about the animals, it's about the people too. We've, uh, this week we've helped somebody who had Alzheimer's and had to go into a memory care facility and we take their animals because there's nothing else to do. Uh, we have Cookie and Coco right now, whose human mama died over Thanksgiving, suddenly. Oh, wow. And nowhere to go. But we named the rescue after Edgar. And his story is here. And Ivy, um, Edgar was uh, born with a heart defect. And uh, when he finally passed, uh, while I was holding him, I promised him I was going to do this, and then I, I stuck with it. <laughs> but he changed my life, and, uh, you know, just showing how much an animal can give to you. Uh, they make us human. We don't deserve them. <laughs> no, we don't deserve them. <laughs> but we take volunteers, we take torn litter bags, we take old towels, uh, whatever helps us uh, help them. Um, because we are only limited by our finances and um, you know, our supplies. My grandfather was a farmer. We're not paying any rent here. We're not paying any utilities. I don't get paid. Everything goes straight to the cats. 
All right, everyone, this place is amazing. It's called Edgar and Ivy's Cat Sanctuary here in Corpus Christi. And they were the only ones willing to take on this cat. I called like three or four different numbers, but I, I waited about 15 minutes for Edgar and Ivy's to open. Gave them a call. They said, hey, this is something we'd love to take on. Be sure to go down in the description. I'm gonna link everything of theirs. Let's send them supplies. Let's get some volunteers for them. Donate, whatever you guys can do. We're gonna make the first donation to start it off and then We'll see where it goes. All right, so Spencer here from the future, and I'm actually setting up a GoFundMe to collect all the funds and donations going to Edgar's and Ivy's Cat Sanctuary. They're an amazing organization, and their goals and their missions line up very closely to mine, so I really, really want to help them out. So go down in the description and click the GoFundMe link, and I'll make sure every little bit of money collected there goes directly to them. And if you can't donate to their GoFundMe, go down to their website in the description. If you have any cat supplies or anything, send it their way and help them out, guys. I really appreciate y'all, and let's finally get back to this cleanup.
Look at all the roaches. <laughs>
All right, guys, so I think while we were doing that back porch, the weed eater may have kicked up and broken their front window in their car. So I'm going to go see if it was previous damage or if I just did that. But there's some dents around the window, so I don't know if it was previously done. So we're just going to go ask them. I don't know if that was me or not, and they're not home, so we'll just get mowing and hopefully they come home while I'm here. Otherwise, I'll probably just leave some money under their windshield wiper.
I think I might have hit it with a rock, like the window. So uh -huh. I, I don't, because I saw some damage up top. So I didn't know if it was done already. Yeah, there was some damage right there, but like the the actual window itself is like cracked now. Uh -huh. Was that like that before? No. Okay. Can I just give you some money to get it fixed? Uh, yeah. But I don't I don't know how much it costs. I mean, I I would guess like 150 to 200. So I'm just gonna give you okay. 200 bucks. Is that okay? That's fine. This is. Yeah, two hundred dollars. Are you sure? Yes, absolutely. Okay. That that was my fault, so I want to be sure to get it fixed for okay. you. Okay, all right. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.
didn't even know that sidewalk was there. <laughs> I just want to come over and thank you very, very much because the weed has been high. And on Wednesday nights, I walk to them back uh, from church. And it's twice that I've fallen because I have to go through all the high weed oh, wow. and grass. And I, I started going through the street instead. The last owner lost the house. And the city, I would think, would have come and, you know, cut it, because they usually do for a hefty sum. But this time it kept growing and growing and growing. And, you know, I just really wanted to thank you so, so very much, because you've done a good, great, great, fantastic favor for, for the community and for myself. And, well, I don't have to, you know, worry about falling down. I really thank you well, so much. Well, I'm happy to help out. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> everyone we just got finished with this job it turned out amazing as you saw there there were a couple of hidden sidewalks that i didn't see until i mowed the yard so i had to go back and get them edged up and make it look clean so even though that this home is vacant and nobody's living in it it's either bank owned or city owned i don't really know what's going on i'm really really glad i could clean this up for the neighborhood and the neighbors surrounding it because even if it only helps that one lady it was worth it. Anyways, thank you for watching to the very end of this video. I appreciate it so, so much. I put so much work into these jobs and your support really means the world to me. And if you didn't want to support me a little bit further, my wife and I started a brand new merch store and dropped some awesome new t-shirt designs. All right, everyone, sorry for the interruption, but I wanted to do a quick update on last week because we launched our brand new merch store and I promised to give out gift cards and silver coins to some of the people that bought merch. All right, the first winner is Robert of Union, New Jersey. You ordered an Obsexy on Moet tea. I really appreciate the support and you'll be getting a $25 Visa gift card in your order. All right, the next winner is Kim out of Ogden, Utah. She ordered two I'm Sexy I'm Out shirts and one Grass Daddy shirt. So thank you so much for your support, Kim, and you will be getting a one ounce pure silver maple leaf coin. I appreciate it. All right, the next winner is Mike out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. He got the SB Moen Classic t-shirt. You can't go wrong with that one. I really appreciate the support, Mike. You'll be getting a $25 Visa gift card in your order. All right, the next winner is Richard out of Painesville, Ohio. He got two I'm Sexy and I'm Out shirts, and the third one he got was a Grass Daddy shirt. So thank you so much for your support, Richard, and you will be getting the classic one ounce silver American dollar. All right, the next winner is Brett of Stanford, Illinois. He got an I'm Sexy and I'm Out shirt. Thank you for your support, Brett. You'll be getting a $25 Visa gift card in your order. All right, the next winner is Susan out of North Carolina, and she bought an I'm Sexy and I'm Out shirt. Thank you so much for your support, Susan. You will be getting a one ounce silver Philharmonic coin in your order. All right, the next winner is Timothy out of Mayport, Pennsylvania. We've got a new one, the SB Moin Black Tea. Thank you so much, Timothy. You will be getting a $25 Visa gift card in your order. All right, the next winner is Scott out of Enola, Pennsylvania. He got an uh, Sexy and I'm Out shirt and a Grass Daddy shirt. So thank you so much, Scott, for your support. You will be getting a one ounce silver maple leaf coin in your order. All right, the next winner is Raymond out of Independence, Ohio. He ordered a Grass Daddy t-shirt and an SB Mowing Classic t-shirt. Raymond, thank you so much for your support. You'll be getting a $25 Visa gift card in your order. All right, and the last winner for this week is Bobby out of Decula, Georgia. He got the SB Mowing Black Tee and the Obsexy I'm Moet Tee. Thank you so much, Bobby, for your support. You'll be getting a one ounce silver dollar. All right, so that's all the winners for the first week of me launching my merch store. And even if you didn't win, I really, really appreciate you all ordering a piece of my merch. It really helps to support this work that I do. But I wanna make sure that everyone wins something this next week. So any order that I get this next week, whether it's one or if it's a thousand, I will put a handwritten thank you card in the order. So if you are interested in supporting my work, be sure to go to sbmowing.com and grab a piece of this awesome merch. Let's get to these before and afters, y'all.